Hi, it's Paul, and today I'm an old man with the fourth and maybe the final part of my inflating my paddleboard series. And I've bought myself an Outdoor Master paddleboard pump. This is a proper SUP pump. I'll put some more information in the video at the end, but I'm going to go and give it a try. I'm going to speed through various bits of this video, but I left this first bit in to show you the initial pump up as the pump starts. change over from high volume low pressure to low volume high pressure and you'll also notice that I forgot completely to put the side reinforcing strips into my paddle board if you've got a red paddle code board you'll know what I mean moment or two I'm going to skip a big chunk of time and fast forward a bit to about 11 or 12 minutes because you'll notice that it stops completely. I'd like to point out this has got nothing to do with the machine, it was a fuse that blew on my connection. So entirely unexpected. Uh, however, looking in the manual, it clearly says plug your connector in directly into the socket for the cigarette lighter. I didn't. Here you'll see the fuse that blew. And coming up now, you will see the connection that I was using, which is like a, a banked connector, which links into the accessory socket or cigarette lighter. And it was the fuse in that that failed. So I had a few minutes messing about, changing the fuse while figuring out what had happened. Ended up moving the board, moving the connection for the Outdoor Master shop and plugging it into the main cigarette light socket in the front of the van. Uh, so it wouldn't reach as far as it would before, so I had to move everything about. Restarting again now, so you see the timer kick in again and we'll carry on. of the inflation now you see me just video in the last few seconds because it's going sort of 18 bar 19 bar 20 bar which is the maximum for this maximum on this paddle board is 21 and that's the recommendation from red paddle co the pump will only go to 20 but i can live with that to be fair i'm not going to bother about the one psi So that's it, 15 minutes and 24 seconds. It's fully inflated to 20 PSI. 20 PSI is the maximum this pump will run to. To be fair, Red Paddle Co say pump the board up to 21. I'm not gonna worry about one PSI. A Couple of things I missed on the way. I forgot to put the reinforcing straps in the side of the paddle board. If you've got a Red Paddle Co board, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I would have done that, but to be fair, 15 minutes is ideal as far as I'm concerned. Gives me time to get changed while the board's pumping up. Gives me time to set up, putting the reinforcing bars in, put the paddle together and all the rest of it. So I reckon come the better weather when I can get out on the river, that will be ideal. Here you see I've got it all coiled up and tucked in the top of the paddle board as it's rolled up and it fits nicely inside the stowage bag. So well happy with that because I can put it all together in one unit. A 
Okay, a couple of bits and pieces to sum up on my thoughts on this. Um, something I realised I've, I've missed out of the video, I, I missed a section of the video where in the early part of it, I looked at the pump and noticed the pressure was going down instead of up and I found that I'd actually not tightened up the fittings on the hose enough. So that's important, obviously, tighten up the fittings on the hose, otherwise it's not going to pump up correctly. Point one. Point two, the thing about the fuse. So it blew an 8 amp fuse. In the manual there's no explanation as to what size power supply it needs. It does say please use the cigarette lighter socket directly and make sure the connections are clean because otherwise it will get a bad connection. Um, as you see I failed to do that. I used an adapter in between the cigarette lighter socket and the pump and I regretted doing it. So the cigarette lighter has got a 15 amp fuse on it. The adapter I had had an 8 amp fuse on it. The 8 amp fuse blew. The 15 amp fuse didn't. So we can say that the load that, or the power requirement is somewhere under 15 amps. So if you've got a conventional cigarette lighter socket, I think you should be all right. So all in all, uh, am I pleased with it? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's exactly what I was looking for. I think my search is over now. Um, I bought it. It's it's not gifted or sponsored or anything in any way. There's no affiliate link. I'll put a link to Outdoor Master in the description. But the price from Outdoor Master is expensive. I actually found the discount code on someone else's website and I now can't find it. It was an American website and I can't remember what it was called. But they had a discount code that knocked 30 odd percent off the price of it. So it's well worth having a look. Um, if Outdoor Master want to get in touch with me and offer me the same deal, then I'm happy to add it in the description. But at the moment, if you go direct to Outdoor Master and UK prices, it's about, I think, £121. And if you find the discount code, as I say, that knocks it down to about 80 something pounds UK. That's in January 2021. So there you have it. Um, full explanation on the Outdoor Master The Shark uh, inflator for SUPs. Very happy with it. Just waiting for a slightly better bit of weather now so that I can actually get out on the river and use it and when i do that i'll do a full video of setting up to get on the water um, and you can see how long it takes what's involved etc 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 so if you're interested in starting on paddle boarding then you can do that um hope some of this info has been useful to you if it has been then as always if you'd like to like or subscribe i would be honored if you've got any questions or comments, stick them in the comments below or go on the website and oldmanwith.com and put them in the blog somewhere, ask a question. And thanks for your time. See you in the next one. Bye.